Elhamdülillahirrahmanirrahim. Sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem. Ala nebiyyina Muhammed. Ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem. Amma ba'd. Ahabbete fillah. Annamima and ghiba, backbiting, we know are some of the major sins. And those major sins can be forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But they are wretched acts that we should strive our utmost to avoid. And In an authentic hadith, in Bukhari and Muslim, on Hudayfata, on Hudayfata ibn, ibn al Yaman, Radi Allahu Tala and Huma, call, call a Rasulullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. La yudkhul al-jannah an-namam. Mutafakun alayhi. This is a hadith in Bukhari and Muslim in which the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said that the namam would not enter Paradise and an namam as the ulama state refers to those who spread evil throughout the community with the intention of spreading evil throughout the community. Those people who spread wickedness and tales throughout the community tales. This is a namam. And The Prophet والسلام, said in another hadith, in the hadith of Abu Ibn Abbas, عنهما, I believe, in which he, والسلام, uh, Ibn Abbas narrates, النبي, صلى الله عليه وسلم على قبرين فقال إنهما ليعذبان وما يعذبان في كبير أما أحدهما فكان لا يستتر من البول وأما الآخر فكان يمشي بالنميمة So the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said in the hadith of Ibn Abbas رضي الله تلا عنه That the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was walking by some graves. Marra Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala qabrain. He walked by two uh, uh, graves. Faqal, and he said, Verily, they're being punished, and they're being punished for something which the people do not think is great. You know, the people don't think it's a big deal. It's so easy. Just think of how easy it is to speak ill about someone. And and how easy it is to get into the memo. All of us fall into these types of sins one way or another. And we know how easy it is. 
They're being punished and they're being punished for something which the people, one of the interpretations is that the people do not see as a great sin or you know it's something easy to fall into. The Prophet said, as for one of them, is they did not used to uh, make proper stinja. They didn't protect themselves from urine, meaning they urinated and either it spilt, it splashed on their garments, or they didn't make it stinja, aslan. And then the second one, Emma Akhar, and as for the second, Fakana Yemshi bin Namima. Is they used to do make Namima, you know, spread wickedness, wicked tales, you know, get information and just spread it around the community with the intent to spread wickedness. And a lot of times we don't think about it as something. As wickedness, we just want to spread the excitement of this new news that we heard. Oh, this, you know, brother so and so did this, sister so and so did this, uh, student of knowledge so and so said this in this tape. Let's spread it. Let's get it out there. Let's let's, uh, you know, or I heard, which is worse. I heard so and so said this. I heard so and so did this, or reading into people's hearts. What he meant is, and then spreading it. When it, there's no evidence from their other speech to substantiate that. They used to go and spread wicked tales throughout the community. The Prophet ﷺ let us know in this hadith that this is a wicked, major sin. Namima. And that this tale... This, this spreading of tales spreads wickedness throughout the community. And that it is something that the people take light as a light matter. And we know, as we got from the other hadith, is that it's a major sin. We also know that it's a major sin because whenever there's a wa'id, there is a punishment attached to a sin mentioned in the Quran or the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that's one of the evidences that many of the scholars use to say that that show, shows that that shows that that is a major sin so it shows us it's something so simple and easy to fall into and that we have to strive our utmost to avoid backbiting namima and all of those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And forgive us for any and all sins that we've committed. And may Allah protect us and our families. Rectify our condition and affairs and our families and the Muslims everywhere. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.